Hi, my name is Fabrice Ducomble from Cisco Tech in the iOS 6 team. Today, I want to show you some common pitfalls to avoid while troubleshooting connectivity issues in EVPN Distributed Anycares Gateway. To illustrate the first pitfall, let's use this very simple topology where we have two single home sites. Since we use Distributed Anycares Gateway, each EVPN PE is configured with a BVI and the BVI on all PEs is configured with the same IP and MAC address. In this example, with IP address 10.1.1 and the MAC address is 1.1.1. Each PE plays the role of the gateway for the locally connected customers, not for the entire EVI. This means PEs can ping local customers, but not the remote customers. Why? It's because although the echo request could eventually reach the remote host, the echo reply is destined to the BVI Anycast address that is used as source IP for the echo request. When the local PE of the remote site receives the echo reply, it consumes a packet since it's destined to one of its address. And in the end, the echo reply never reaches the PE that initiated the ping, and the ping is failing. So the first key takeaway is, when you need to check connectivity to a host, you need always to ping from its local PE. Now, having said that, if you need to check connectivity to a remote host, for example, because you don't have access to the local PE of that remote host, or because you want to check the forwarding path throughout the MPLS cloud, then you need to use as source address for the ping a unique address in the VRF. A loopback address, for example, so the local PE is able to route the echo reply back to you. Another similar pitfall to avoid is when checking connectivity to a host connected to a dual home site that uses all active load balancing as we see here on the left hand side. In such a scenario, even if we follow our first golden rule, so pinging from the local PE, the ping might still fail. Why? Because there is 50% chances the echo reply comes back to the second PE where it's consumed because it also owns the BVI Anycas address. So whether or not the ping is successful all depends on the load balancing hash algorithm of the switch. And it's our second takeaway. For checking connectivity to local host on all active dual home sites, you need to ping from both PEs. And it's expected that for a given host, the ping will only be successful from one of the PE. Thank you for watching.